We are climbers, we are mountaineers. We face obstacles all the time on the mountains. Pandemic is one of the obstacles that is thrown along the way. I remember my father telling me stories about the 53 expedition. They were one of the first foreigners to enter into these regions. And the moment Sherpas saw foreigners, they would close the doors because they were scared. They wouldn't let anybody in. And now, 60 years down the line, it's just the total opposite. Most of the homes have been turned into lodges to accommodate all the 40 to 60,000 tourists that come into the Everest region. We've been gifted to have such a beautiful landscape and 8,000 meter peaks. The Sherpas have benefited a great deal because of the mountaineering industry. When this happens, they're able to send the children outside of the Kumbu, Everest region, facilitating greater education opportunities. Any of the Sherpas today that are climbing these mountains, you ask them, why are you climbing this? They will say, I'm climbing so that my children can have a better education, something that I did not receive. They do not have to do the same dangerous work that I'm doing. In the aftermath of the pandemic, you know, the Sherpas, if they were not able to continue with the profession of uh, mountaineering, they went back into farming. It got them to regroup, go back to the villages, be part of the family, help the families with farming, reconnect with the culture. Of course, when you get something, you will lose something all the time. And Everest is more crowded and dirtier than it was ever before. Hopefully, uh, Bali's Peak Outlook initiative will bring awareness. We can always find a balance between economic activities, tourism, and the environment. We also understand the responsibility within the tourism industry to educate the local community and clients. Traveling, exploring in a responsible way is critical. Do much to help save this planet during our time. We at least have a chance to save it during our next generation. So it's never too late to start anything.